Hello and welcome to tutorial number 12. Uh, in this one we're going to be talking about um, uh, div tags. Now uh, I'm going to show you rather than talk, talk about it. Okay so what I've made is uh, this little HTML form and basically uh, we can see here these three uh, red boxes. Now these are um, div tags with formatting from CSS um, and this second one is a div tag without any CSS and this last one is to show you what a div tag looks like without CSS although I've given it a border and um, the border is CSS um, but it's just to show you um, what it looks like um, okay so predominantly um, this box here is what this box um, looks like and how wide it is and so on without any CSS um, now with HTML um, you cannot really um, talk in line okay as in in this way if you write something in HTML it will always go um, vertically okay it will move down and down and down and down so um, there's not many ways that you can talk to talk horizontally obviously within a table um, you can do as we've shown already before but that means uh, formatting your whole website um, with a table which isn't really good practice um, it's best to use div tags and CSS so really this lesson is um, really it's a start of talking about CSS as well um, but it's also showing you um, div tags now how do we write these div tags? So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to show you what I wrote there because it's a bit confusing. So what we're going to do is we'll start off making a new HTML form and head head come in here and then we'll put a title and let's zoom in title okay div tags and then we go to body and we go to body okay so let's um, say div which is the div tag as I said and we open it uh, and close it as well okay so let's say this is uh, div tag number one and then let's copy this and uh, to show you is that uh, this is div tag number two? I think we could, and we'll save this as divs.html. Come to my desktop and we'll open this up. Let's get rid of this. Don't want that. Okay, as you can see here, that and um, we don't want this. Thank you. Um, as you can see here, um, it it puts it straight underneath each other. Um, yeah, which we've seen before with paragraph tags. Um, with h1 heading tags uh, etc now a div tag doesn't have any formatting okay so it basically it just by default starts off and wraps around the text and then moves on to the next line okay so it's it's just the same as um, is uh, with out a div tag okay so let's save this come back to here and have a look see it's just exactly the same so it has no formatting the only way that you can um, is uh, do anything with it is basically with CSS or styles um, styles and CSS are pretty much the same thing okay uh, you have inline styling which okay so let's move on to um, inline styling that's I think that's okay uh, okay so now what we do for inline styles is this is now touching on CSS okay um, now to basically give it a border um, we say border semicolon and um, one pixel solids and this You're just gonna have to trust me because uh, I don't want to go into it too much because that's CSS uh, lessons and there we go it now gives it a border so um, and then we'll give this one style equals uh, backgrounds of into, well, we'll give it a background of grey and then we'll uh, come back to here and you see this one here and then we'll give uh, this one which is also the font tag now 
Um, I don't like using the font tag um, because it's quite old and lots of people don't use it. And um, there's, uh, it's been written that the font tag is going to be removed um, soon. Um, don't know when, but I've been reading that for a, a, a while now. Um, style, let's say font uh, size equals 20 pixels and come back to here. So what we're doing is we're basically formatting our, our text. Now this is a part of CSS. So as you can see though, um, that uh, each each one has its own different um, formatting. Now uh, divs are fantastic to use um, because they don't have any formatting. So it means that um, you can tell it how wide it is, how uh, tall it is, uh, and so on. And you can wrap things uh, around it all the time and they can sit on top of each other and you can put one to the left hand side, the right hand side of the screen you can do whatever you want with it so you can really start building a structured website um, which is which is why um, they are the best things to use um, so I would try if anything out of all the tutorials that I've already taught you um, you really start need to listen in now um, because all of this stuff now is is hugely important if the the element that you will use the most with inside HTML in a good structured website is a div tag so the the past 11 tutorials uh, were basically the fillings for um, an HTML sandwich a sandwich uh, the bread is the div tags okay so this is now hugely important and really the CSS is the ingredients to the div tags uh, or to the bread as such if I haven't confused you too much um, because uh, CSS tells the bread of the sandwich how it's going to taste, the colour of it, how thick it is, how wide it is, um, what ingredients it can be used inside and so on and any, anything with inside the sandwich as in the ham, the lettuce or whatever um, we can tell um, that just by it being inside the div tag what colour, what taste, what height, what length, um, what format it's going to be so they they basically have um, the outer div is the parent and anything inside of it it takes on all of these attributes that the div tells it to have so this is why um, and you can do this with paragraph tags um, and so on and table tags as well um, but the div tags are really the best thing that you can learn I, I can't say this any more times well, I could say it all day actually um, but we, you need to listen to these tutorials about div tags. Okay, this tutorial really is nearly finished because I can't do anything without CSS. So, um, really, uh, for my advice, what I would do is to um, do this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorials after this aren't as important. Okay, they're 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 really really not. I would watch them anyway. But once you've done this lesson, I would now move over to the CSS. Um, as long as you can uh, already make yourself a good web page um, using tables, input fields, comment boxes and so on and you, you're happy with structuring a good um, website and if you can do that let's move on to div tags and really the first lesson of CSS will be um, using all div tags uh, okay, and a little bit other stuff so um, either move on to uh, lesson number 13 um, or yeah, 13 within uh, HTML tutorials or see me in um, CSS lesson number one. Okay, um, that's it for me. I am uh, David Thorne. Um, please visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de. If you're um, currently watching on YouTube, um, then I thank you very much. Please um, leave me a comment, give me any questions about. Um, um, what you haven't understood or what you need to uh, understand a little bit better and maybe I can um, fit in uh, another tutorial uh, to help you out a little bit more but please give me feedback I have had feedback already and it's been very good um, but please give me feedback of stuff you didn't understand or what I should go over a, a little bit further or in a little bit deeper okay thank you very much for watching and goodbye